Well, go on, YouTube gang. It's your boy Yardy man. Welcome back to the channel. Make sure before you watch this video that you hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. Make sure you smash that like button also. We want to have at least 50 don't likes go, on the majority go, of our videos. Don't, don't and go, also go, tell your friends go, about go, us. Go, Make sure you leave some comments. And now let's kick this video off. Yo, yo, what's going on, peeps? Thanks for tuning in again. Ah, guys, I want to thank you before I get started with this video today for getting us to over 250 subs, man. Trust me, we started well this year so far. I just want to thank you guys for the support that you're showing and for growing this channel every single day. Now, let's get to 300 subs. Just less than 45 subs to go, I think, until we're at 300 subs. Let's go. Now let's get started guys. I know you lot must be fed up with this glitch and this is the glitch that doesn't allow your player to grow anymore. Now if you have a look on our stats over there for pace, shooting, passing, dribbling, defending and physical, guys, you can see a, you can see a hyphen. What that basically means is your player has finished growing. If you don't know what that means, I'll show you. There you go. So growth peak is basically it's at its highest. So there's no way for the player to grow now, no matter what you do, no matter how you train them. And I've kind of figured out that the problem, what the problem is. So when you, your players get trained fully to balance, I think there's some, some sort of glitch happens when your player completes their balance training. And then that basically stops your player from being able to grow. So I've, managed to get it to work on some of my career modes now i'm going to show you a few ways to get it work get it working so one thing you can do guys is you can either sell your player um before when the season starts you can sell him and then buy him back immediately because it, it no longer this um this allows you to buy players um once you've sold them so you can actually sell the player and buy them back and that should give you a fresh chance to grow the player so that's what we're going to do today. That's one way anyway. Another way is you can simulate to the end of the season and it should reset. When I say it should reset, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does. So if you play to the end of the season, it should give you the opportunity to start growing your player again once you've gone past this video. I'm about to show you guys now anyway. So, so there we go. Paul Pogba. And we're going to go to development. And there you go, guys. So you see now his stats are not all closed off. I can actually go back to development plan and then we'll be able to see the difference before and after. So there you go, guys. Now you see he's able to, we're able to train certain attributes. Fair enough, some of them aren't able to, to we're not able to train some of those attributes. But there's a reason for that. Basically, he's reached the maximum um, attributes for those um, stats. So such as his sprint speed, for some reason, the game is saying Paul Pogba cannot go, cannot go any faster than 79 overall. His acceleration can go higher than that, but his sprint speed has, has to stay there. So fair enough. Now, maybe that's just a glitch and another way for us to test it out would have to be to start the career mode over again and try and, you know, play through until it gives us this issue and then we'll be able to see what it says about his sprint speed. So there you go, guys. I've given you a fix for this. If you have a look, you can see that's one of my player there that, that before it was saying his stats could not actually go up. But there you go. As you guys can see, with Lucas Digny, it looks as if you can only do one player per season. So you can only fix one player per season or per transfer window. So what I would what I would say is make sure you do one player in, let, let's say one player in the June window, one player in the January window, and then one player again in the June window. That's That's how you'd actually do it. Yeah, guys so just try it out and see how it works for you obviously play there will be players for instance lucas digny is actually 27 turning 28 so if there's certain stats that can't go up 
fair enough. Probably that's just him as a player or being unable to, to go any higher. But as I, as I'm saying, there is a bonus to, to that as well. Your players also can't decline unless it's showing decline. So you're not really losing out if their stats show that high from there. Only time you, you lose out is if it says declining, which is the moment delay one, which you guys can see. It tells you how slow they're delaying. There you go. Small delay, moderate delay, and significant delay. Those are the only ones you have to worry about if your players let's say over 27 so guys again thank you for watching this video thank you for supporting the channel make sure you press that subscribe button make sure you comment like share the video make sure you get us to 50 likes on this video like a candle i'm out